I'm Chris Devin. Right now I'm joined by Kevin Caulfield from Campion and Company down on Newbury Street. Kevin, uh, inventory is still low in the city. Uh, I heard you mention prior that we're at you know two and a half months uh, of inventory. I know a lot of buyers out there try to get ahead of the curve, right? They're looking for opportunity in the market. Um, where are you seeing opportunity in the Boston downtown market? So I think some of that opportunity, you know, for people that are looking to live downtown lies in some of that new construction. Um, with some of it being delivered 12 to 24 months out, buying now at today's pricing may not be a bad thing. You can oftentimes see prices escalate, so I think there's some opportunity there. Um, you know, I often get asked from investors, wh where is the next merging market within Boston? And, uh, you know, I, I like East Boston as a neighborhood, and uh, I've also, I also like Roxbury. Um, you know, if the mayor has really targeted the Dudley Square area as um, an area that he would like to see some development in. And, uh, you know, I think when you get over there, proximity to downtown is really good and uh, the existing structures I mean there's some beautiful real estate over there and pricing wise it's not out of control yet oh pricing wise means. I mean I think you're getting people going over there now but I would say um, it's still the early innings okay and from the East Boston perspective I mean when when you're looking back at the city it's a great spot you're right oh, yeah. there East Boston's great I think you know, the other thing that will help East Boston is if, you know, if they get water taxis going um, from East Boston over to Rose Wharf, um, just the ease of a commute. Uh, but yeah, there, there are some, some fantastic views um, in East Boston looking back at the city. East Boston, Dudley Square and Roxbury, two hot spots for two emerging I, I, markets. Th those are probably the two that, that uh, stand out the most to me, but you know, uh, I think the city as a whole is a pretty solid investment. Thanks, Kevin. And if you're in the market in downtown Boston, would like to reach out to Kevin directly if you're purchasing or selling real estate, you can go to his website at kevincaulfield.com. And remember, we have more buyer and seller tips right here on our page on boston.com.